Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique in Indiana, not in California. Sorry for any confusion you guys might have out there. I get a lot of, my dog's barking. I should shut my door. <laughs> I get a lot of comments asking if I'm in California and, and I'm not. <laughs> Hang on. I made a noise before I came in here and he's barking. <laughs> um, I lost my intro to a deodorant video so this is me just taping up a quick intro for you guys before i get right into it um i made deodorant a weekend or two ago and can i just say i am so happy i paid whatever 10 bucks or whatever it was for this deodorant uh formula a couple years ago i think it's from an etsy shop called a uh, diy bath and body shop i think i'm gonna link that down below um it is a really really good formula it's the only one i ever use anymore i i actually feel no need to make many changes to this formula at all uh, i do make one little change that i will let you know while i'm making it um, it's in the video i do make a small little change between the bomb and the solid so if you want to know what i do to the formula that i bought to give me the two different products stay tuned and watch that see there's a hook Okay. I'm wise to the ways of keeping you on here and not clicking off, right? Not really. <laughs> not really, but I try. <laughs> so guys, if you want to stick around and watch how I made these, please do. I talk about the ingredients and what they do for you and all that good stuff. And I really thought I was going to have to check this whole batch of the solid. I thought I totally <laughs> destroyed it and it all worked out in the end. So that's something good so don't be don't don't be too worried about me in the midst of the making of because this is great <laughs> i'll see you on the other side All right, so this is my first deodorant i'm trying this is cooling and this is the balm um i got it a little over hot so it's taken a little while to cool so while this is cooling and this is my cool down ingredients for the balm i'm going to try to keep this straight and work on my solids. So in here, I'm gonna get my powdered ingredients and the first thing I'm gonna put in here is my diatomaceous earth. Put that back on grams. Ah. Ah, I'm almost done with this. Ah, that drives me crazy because I can't put my new bag of diatomaceous earth in my container here until this is gone look at that that's maddening now I have to hold on to this and a bag um okay so the reason we use diatomaceous earth is it's kind of a replacement for baking soda um, it's super absorbent and it um, absorbs odors um, so and it doesn't cause the skin irritation that baking soda does and this is food grade diatomaceous earth so then the magnesium oxide is next and it's also good for uh, odor elimination so let me get this in here arrowroot powder goes in here it's super absorbent so let me double check my numbers so then lastly we put zinc oxide in with our powders so this is um, really good at combating odor and it's also very soothing and protective for your skin it's actually um, calamine lotion is made with this so it's a really good soothing and under your armpits you want something that is going to be protective and soothing against like razor burns if you're a shaver or a lot of people have irritation with uh, store-bought deodorants and um, they're surprised when they don't have irritation with this formula and I think a lot of it is we're just very protective of our skin and making sure we're not using anything that's um, going to irritate that. Uh, so yeah, zinc oxide. So that's it for the powdered. Let me come over here and just stir this while it's cooling. I wanna, I'll probably stick blend this again a couple times 
just to make sure those powders are suspended while it's cooling. I don't want anything to settle. I almost got rid of these bowls and now I'm so glad I didn't. I think they're Dollar Tree bowls. So I'm gonna be using the same bowl that I used for my balm. Uh, the only difference that I do in, if you have this recipe, um, the only difference I do between a balm and the deodorant is for the balm, I drop cetyl alcohol completely, and my deodorant, I lowered the cetyl alcohol percentage. Um, so that's what works for me, but this is, a, obviously I've already said, this is a paid um, a recipe that I paid for, so I can't share with you the percentages or anything, but that's how I use the formula for the two different products. All right, so let's talk about our uh, melting ingredients. So I am using safflower oil, and I just got some in. I'm going to put some olive oil in there. All right, so I usually use my ahoba oil for this, but I don't have but a little bit, so I don't know if I have enough. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead. Maybe I will. Oh, I'm going to have just enough, guys. Next, we're going to add some coconut oil in. So the oils are basically just that skin loving. You need an oil, obviously, to kind of thin out the product. So coconut oil has some antifungal properties. I'm hoping that's, you know what? I'm not going to do it that way. Hang on. I don't trust myself. Olive 1000 is next. So this is a conditioning agent for this deodorant. It's it's also it's an emulsifier, but um, it's also very conditioning. So it's really good for that end feel. And I cannot remember numbers. I literally just opened this bag. I am having to order a bigger bag, I think. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking by only ordering eight ounces. And it took up almost all of this. Um, let's see, what's next? Cetyl alcohol. So this is uh, good for stability. It gives, uh, it's an emollient as well. I think it must have some thickening properties as well because just simply dropping this takes it from a solid to a bomb for my few tweaks that I did to this, to this recipe. So I need to go check my notes again. I have my computer up on the other counter so I'm not having to print everything, but I probably really should be printing things because I think I <laughs> do a little better. Steric acid is also for stability and giving it a uh, structure, you know, giving it that body. So, star of the show, zinc resinoleate. Can't really make, uh, you can make deodorant without zinc resinoleate. Don't get me wrong, you can. But this is like, this is a game changer in, in the deodorant world. So if you haven't tried this, I strongly recommend you getting, uh, buying this recipe and try, getting your, your hands on some zinc with Stinoli. It is definitely a game changer when it comes to uh, deodorants. Um, it's a natural ingredient and it is just odor absorbing, so strong. Um, so it's kind of like a castor, it comes from castor oil and zinc or something like that. Uh, and it just comes in these like little, little nubby, pellety things. Um, so I'm, I'm reading some notes so I can remember, so I know exactly how I'm supposed to say this, but it, it, it chemically traps odors. So it's not like a physical blocking of odor. It is a chemical blocking of odor, uh, odor molecules. So that's awesome. I look at my numbers before I come over here and then I start talking and then I can't remember my numbers. It's a constant battle with me and that computer over there. All right. 
you can probably get some more of that in too. So I am just going to gently get this melted through in the microwave and it should be clear when it is completely melted. We want to make sure everything is melted. I did get my balm a little too hot. It's still not ready to pour. So I'm going to watch this one a little bit more closely and just make sure I'm not overheating it. Um, all right. So, yep, we'll be right back. I had to warm up my deodorant balm over here. So I'm just letting it cool a little bit before I pour them into the tins. But here's my solid deodorant that I, I, I ran the stick blender through it for just to smooth it up a bit. It never cleared up on me. I barely got clear and then it immediately got real cloudy and thick and lotiony almost. Um, I've never, I don't know what I did. I went back and I, I uh, double checked all of my measurements. I double checked my percentages, everything. I, unless I just mis mismeasured, everything I did was appropriate. Like my recipe and everything is appropriate. I don't know guys, um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can salvage this and what happens. Um, yeah, because I, I don't want to waste all of that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get it in here and see what happens. It was just very odd. I've, <laughs> it's just so weird. It just wasn't wanting to melt, and I felt like I was just overheating it. So, this may be a disaster, but it may just be fine. All right. I could just stir this in real quick before I get the stick blender in here and really get it going. I just want to smooth this out with the stick blender, guys. Had to get their turbo on that one now that I know that there's a turbo on this. <laughs> All right, well, it looks fine at this stage of the game. Let's take a take a Oh, right here. 141. So it's still too hot to add my cool down ingredients. So I'm just going to let it, like I did the other one, I'm just going to let it sit here and cool down. And while that's happening, I'm going to finish the last of my deodorant bombs. All right, so this last one is Clarity. I make three different scents of deodorant balms and solids, agave nectar, clarity, and seascape. So clarity and seascape are blends on the EOCalc website, uh, but seascape calls for lemongrass, I think, um, and that is not good for uh, deodorants. You, you really can't use lemongrass in, in deodorants, so I just switch it out for lemon and use it for deodorants. So here's my tray. I can kind of keep in them in in order. I've got eight clarity, eight agave nectar, and then I'll make a sign on this side to show that this is the seascape. All right, so this little pot is a personal tin that I just clean and will reuse here at the home. So I get eight to sell and one for personal use out of each 20, 19 to 20 ounces of, of my uh, batch size. So I can take this upstairs as well and so nothing's going to waste and that will get us quite a while. I'll probably have to, I'll cover it. You know, because it'll—I think it'll dry out. I—I I, I don't know. I assume it would dry out if you didn't cover it. But this is 
this is upstairs as well to get us through until the next time I make more. And so balms are done. Still a little bit warm before I add the preservative and the vitamin E oil as cool down ingredients. So let me get this out of the way. This is a very clumpy uh, mixture until you smooth it out with the stick blender. So don't let seeing some clumps in here uh, make you think that, oh, it's not blended. It's just a, it's, it's a very clumpy mixture and it will blend out. All right, we are good to add this in here. Okay guys, so for my salad deodorants that I'm not exactly sure what is going on <laughs> with that recipe, I split it off into three different batches and I did go ahead and pour off my agave nectar. So you can see that that was not easy and I know better than to try to pour out of these Dollar Tree jugs because that pour spout doesn't work at all. <laughs> it was not pretty. Also, so I'm gonna take these out, of, I'm gonna take this out of here for, that's one thing. The other thing I'm gonna do is this is not quite full. I've already, I've already kind of pushed up at the bottom here so it's kind of towards the top. This one I'm going to test tomorrow and uh, make sure that it's right. I, it's just this, this recipe just isn't acting right. Okay. Ah! So since it's not acting right, I do want to test it. So I wasn't worried so much about going ahead and finishing the recipe off with the powders and doing all of that because that's not where the money is. The money was in the zinc rosnoli and the oils and different things that were being melted. So I, I didn't feel like I'm out that much to just finish off and trying the recipe and seeing if it's just, it's been so long since I've made it, maybe it is thicker like that with the acetyl alcohol, but I don't remember it um, being that way. So anyway, this is my tester. I'm gonna test it tomorrow. If it's, if it's fine, I'm gonna go forward with uh, measuring these off the, the other two cents and um, filling the rest of my, my containers. Uh, these, I am going to go ahead and once these get to room temperature, they're still pretty warm. I'm going to cover them overnight. Tomorrow, if everything is good, I'm going to take them out of these Dollar Tree pitchers that I have. Um, I even actually thought about just throwing these away. I don't even like them for soap. This pour spout is horrible. Um, I really, really hate these things. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take them out of here before I try to pour any more in because I have gunked up these uh, deodorant tubes ridiculously. So anyway, update on where I'm at. I'll bring you back tomorrow and let you know this was a fail or if it was a success. We're back. It has been another week. So my test deodorant that I used... At first I thought it was too soft and then within like two days it became perfect. It was not too soft. It wasn't too hard. I've been using it all week. I love it. It's like I thought it was going to be a fail because it just didn't look right. But it's the best consistency of a solid deodorant I've ever made. <laughs> and I thought it was going to be a fail. Um, so I remelted one of my batches. I don't know if you can see here. Remelted and made clarity. And so this is Seascape. And I'm going to tear this off and get these melted. So Seascape is probably, you know, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's just a very good scent. And I'm not... 
a huge fan of all of the essential oil scents. I, I enjoy a fragrance oil more. Um, but for essential oils, Clarity is a winner. It has cedarwood, rosemary, lemon, and uh, eucalyptus in this. I'm almost out of rosemary and I'm almost out of lemon. Now, on the eocalc, I think I've said this. I can't remember if I've told you guys. Eocalc, um, it calls for lemongrass. Lemongrass isn't uh, skin safe for deodorants, so I just switch it to lemon. Works out fine. I have made a soap in this, and uh, yeah, I may need to do that again if I can get a bigger bottle of my lemon and rosemary essential oils in. And now I'm just pouring. I threw those Dollar Tree pictures away. <laughs> I, I'm not even cleaning them. I, you know, I'm just, I'm pitching those things. I hate them. Why do I still have them? You know, it's like, am, am I a hoarder and I don't know it? <laughs> I hate those things. I mean, they're a bug, so it's hard to beat. But, uh, yeah. They're not worth it for this kind of stuff. Okay, and so I get these little deodorant tubes off of an Etsy shop. And I, if I remember, I'll link that down below. Um, they are the cheapest I found um, to get them. And I always get like a little sample, white and a black one. I got a white one and a black one. Um, and I'm not gonna just have a random white or black tube, but this is my leftover clarity. <laughs> and I'm just gonna top it off with the leftover seascape. And that will be for me and my husband. All right, so here they are. I get eight uh, tubes out of a 20 ounce section because I make a 60 ounce batch of my deodorant base split it off into 20 ounces each and then I get eight tubes out of each little batch um I did say I did want to say that I weighed that off because it wasn't looking right <laughs> it weighed exactly 60 ounces so I wasn't over and I wasn't under any ingredient and I and I confirmed that I put every ingredient in the mixture. So the ingredients are great. I didn't make a mistake on the ingredients. I'm wondering if I made a mistake on just the process or technique. Uh, so these are good to go. I'm happy. I'll see you in a couple what days. You think? It all turned out guys. This thing is, is, I know I already said it probably, but this is the best uh, consistency that I've come up with. It took about two days to get really perfect in the tube, but it's perfect. It's not too hard, it's not too soft, it's just perfect. I'm so, so happy with this. Now, I do prefer the balm. Um, I get more uh, longevity out of the balm. It seems to, I can get a good eight to 10 weeks out of this. Um, I probably could only get about four to six out of this. Uh, so I like this for that reason is it, it's better uh, on your pocketbook um, for some reason I'm, and, I, and I had the same reaction people have kind of this ick factor when you when it comes to rubbing a deodorant into your skin but you're clean right it's not like you're filthy dirty and you're putting deodorant on usually I wouldn't think so so I had to get past that it took a little it took me a, a few days but what I really like about it is it's not greasy on your fingers. It's a very, very dry end feel after you apply that you don't feel like you have this gunk on your hands that you have to go wash or anything. It's just a really, really nice, very dry end feeling product. So I'm super happy with it. My husband and I both use the balm. Um, we both prefer the balm actually. Um, he uses more than I do. He uses more than I should. But, uh, so he doesn't get the eight to 10 weeks out of it. He probably only gets four, four to five weeks out of his. 
Um, but yeah, so let me just show you the, I'm so mad about my, my labels. So there's, there's agave nectar. I mean, I have seascape and clarity. Um, agave nectar was the one that was all gunked up. I'm try I tried to clean those, <laughs> these uh, containers off best I could. Um, and the seascape. Clarity. I don't know why I always show you my labels. I don't know if you're interested or not. But check this one out. Okay, so this is agave nectar in the balm. Look how blue that is. That is full on blue. And my spray deodorant, it's the same design. It's green. It's green on my computer. It's green when I go to print it out. It's printing blue. And that's making me mad. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get my husband in and, and look at my computer and figure out why it's all of a sudden printing blue. Um, because in Canva, that's the exact same picture. And that's full on green. So anyway, I'm mad about that. But I do have spray deodorants as well. This recipe came from, what's it called? Mrs. Doyle's. Uh, Mrs. Doyle or Doyle. Sorry, I should have looked at that. This this came from her, um, and I'll try to link that down below. But this calls for liquid zinc resinoleate. And last time I looked on her website, it wasn't there. So maybe we can't get that anymore. I don't know. So this may be the last of the spray deodorants that I carry. But there they are, my deodorants. Done. Back in stock. And I'm happy. <laughs> happy about that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, you can give me a thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are awesome. Thank you for, for your support, your lovely comments, your encouragement, and just for being awesome. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.